Hey everybody, this is Tracy here with another edition of A View from Tracy's Point, and this is just a quick video on the status hearing that took place in the Northern District of Illinois versus Robert Kelly case. You guys know that the trial was supposed to start on August 1st. Jennifer Bonjean had requested a delay and the judge denied that request. Well, it looks like she is going to get an additional two weeks because they are having to postpone the trial due to courtroom availability. So it appears that the judge is not going to allow a severance in the case. You know, Jennifer Bonjean wanted Daryl McDavid off of the case, but the judge appears to not be going along with that. And all three co-defendants will be tried together. So that would be um, Mr. Kelly, um, Daryl McDavid and Milton Brown. And so the courtroom that they want to use, use, which is a larger courtroom, is already booked for August 1st, and the next availability is August 15th. So that is the new trial date for this case. Now the actual trial start date may be a little further out, maybe another week or so, because they first have to do jury selection. And I don't think that they've even decided on the questionnaire and that type of thing that's supposed to be coming up. So the August 15th start date may not be the actual trial, but when they begin the um, jury selection process, and then you give it another week. And so the trial opening statements may not be until the following week, like the 21st or 22nd. I don't have a calendar here in front of me in case those dates fall on the weekend. And they are expecting the trial to last approximately four weeks. And so that is going to play a part in jury selection because they will need people who are available for that length of time. And let me see, what else came up? I don't remember anything else other than they expect it to last four weeks. They need the larger courtroom jury selection is probably something else that I'm forgetting but I did want to just bring you this quick video before I forget and then it'd be several days out and they still have not decided if they are going to allow spectators in the courtroom I didn't see anything on that and I wasn't able to listen in on the call because they gave the call in number on the scheduling sheet, but it did not provide the access code. So it looks like they are limiting access to the calls to people in the media or a select group. So I'm not sure if there has been a ruling on whether or not spectators will be allowed in the courtroom. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you are enjoying your day. And um, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below. And I should talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.